Speaker. Question et commentaire. Questions and comments. It's, uh, the Honourable Member for, I know I'll get it right eventually, Courtney Alberni. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank uh, my honourable colleague for her speech and, and really appreciate her talking about the importance of protecting workers. And M Mr. Speaker, you know, we heard throughout the health crisis, again, you know, I've asked other parties the same question, that uh, medical health professionals cited that t the top two things that uh, could be done to stop the spread were to, for people to get vaccinated and for uh, governments to implement paid sick days. And the government chose to drag this legislation out. Here we are 20 months later, and they're finally implementing paid sick days. In the meantime, people have lost their lives. The same parallel crisis is happening, the, the, the uh, overdose crisis that's happening in our country. Medical health professionals are saying that we need to decriminalize the personal possession of illicit drugs, and we need to provide a safe supply. It's first steps to end the stigma against people that are, that are using uh, illicit drugs. Does my colleague agree, Mr. Speaker, through you, that the government has failed to listen to health professionals when it comes to guidance uh, on the overdose crisis because of the stigma, and also, Mr. Speaker, that they can end it, and that uh, we need to listen to health professionals when it comes to guidance to respond to emergencies much faster because people are dying as a result of inaction. The Honourable Member for Terrasse de Blainville. Well, I think there are a number of questions that could have been studied. I won't uh, say anything specifically on what the government could have done. There are many things the government could have done, which would be far beyond the scope of this bill. You know, when it comes to sick leave, I think that's the bare minimum. The province of Quebec already took action on those issues. Other provinces haven't. I know the federal government is trying to send a message here, but when it comes to protecting workers, you have to do more than just deal with the criminal code. It's much broader than that. And comment.